Welcome to IDB everyone. If you ever wanted to connect your iPad to your Mac as a second display, most other solutions are pretty glitchy. We're going to take a look at a new way to do it using the Luna Key from Astro HQ. Astro HQ is known for their other product, AstroPad, a professional drawing application for your Mac and iPad. Luna Display builds on some of that proprietary tech that they've already built, including their liquid technology, and it brings it to this kind of mirror, not mirroring, but allows you to use your iPad as a second display with virtually no lag and ridiculously high image quality. Now we're using an early copy, which means this is not what it's gonna look like when it actually hits shelves. You can see the media prototype there on the left and the final design there on the right. It comes in two different versions, USB-C for the newest Macs or even mini display port. It's really easy to get up and running. Simply install Luna Display on your Mac the Luna display on your iPad and plug in the little key. Once you plug that in, it'll just let you know to open Luna over on your iPad and you're off and running. It pretty much connects right away and is effortless to get started. Most other mirroring or external display applications, they hack the GPU, which just kind of makes your computer think there's an extra display connected. However, when you actually have something plugged in, it gets full hardware support. So you have hardware acceleration and support for metal too. So the graphics are significantly better with much less lag than with other options as is here with Luna. It even supports high DPI or that retina type screen over on your iPad. So the pictures are extremely crisp, but they're very, very good. Now, when you're kind of organizing your screen, you can do it through the system preferences like you normally would, but they've come up with a really cool way to do it straight from your iPad. They call it the camera button. You simply allow access to the camera and then you just tap the front facing camera like a button. And when you tap it, it'll enable and disable the little preference pane on your iPad. So I can just tap the button and I have options for the layout, how much battery both my iPad and my Mac have, the brightness here on my iPad, and I can even choose the arrangement. Obviously, I have more control over in the system preferences for displays, but for quick and easy, this is one of the best ways to do it. Really easy, just tap on in there, make your changes, check battery life, and get out of there. And while it works great over Wi-Fi, your existing Wi-Fi, no need to connect anything special, it'll also work over wired connection if you happen to be on the go and don't have a wired network or a wireless network to connect to. As you can see, as I drag stuff between my monitors, there's really almost no lag in between it and everything is running in high DPI mode with pretty big images. I even threw on some video editing and was editing video in 4K here on my iPad. If I get a little bit closer, you can see the quality in the image, which is just really, really good compared to some of the other mirroring options that I've used that have just not nearly been this good. You can also fully use your iPad as a Mac. I can connect a Bluetooth keyboard to it and type right into my iPad. I can move my mouse around the screen. I can select, I can use multi-touch gestures, all that is supported, even the Apple Pencil. And compared to some of the other mirroring type display solutions, I can completely close the app on my iPad. I can launch other apps. I can do a bunch of other stuff with that app running in the background. You notice my computer didn't freak out and I can launch Luna. I'm still connected. It's kind of awesome how you can just do all of that close everything and it still stays connected. I even completely closed my iPad with the app still running in the background. And I opened my iPad up, unlocked my iPad, and opened up Luna and it's it's still here. It's still running. I can still use Final Cut with no reloading, no reconnecting. Of course, if it completely shuts down, you get off the network, anything happens, you're going to have to reconnect again. But it surprisingly worked well, even in the background as I was trying other apps on my iPad, which has been a constant complaint with Duet or Air Display. Of course, you can also pair this with Astro Pad for a full, really nice solution of using your different second display and working with Astro Pad at the same time. Currently, this is available for pre-order over on Kickstarter. So if you'd like to pick one up, you can find the link for it below in the description. I've been completely blown away by the quality of image and response time and the zero lag when I've been testing Luna Display, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think, so let us know down below. Please go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.